I'm watching. Careful now. A flower farm. Thank you. A flower farm. Come on, come on. Okay, okay. <sighs> it's really early in the morning. I've got a shoot today for the tourist board. Our first location is a beach where we're supposed to be shooting horse riding in, you know, glorious sunshine. The forecast is giving it to have extremely heavy rain about one hour after we arrive. So <laughs> this is going to be interesting. But I said to bring you along and show you what it's like in one of these shoots. White Rocks, here with uh, Fiona from Jago. Hello. Dara has arrived. Yeah, just down here in White Rock. White Rock. White Rocks. White Rocks. Yeah. We've got more than one. We're also going to be shooting today with this Panasonic GH5 with the Leica 10 to 25 f 1.7 lens. I'm using this setup. It can survive a shower in the rain. This is unfair. I'm racing the horses. Okay, fine, the horses win. Okay, now majestic slow motion clip here. I'm gonna put the 360 camera on the horse. So hopefully they can joust. Massive cultural experience here. Here we go. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah, the pole's gone. Yeah. Action! This should look really good because you're going to have the whole arch right up over the top. Using this, this is a vintage 135mm land. And we're heading back. The rain has started. Now we're going to get some food, I think. I should probably check the itinerary. You've got to be kidding me. Down at Brookgammon Farm. Introduce yourself and give me the, the short scoop. Hi guys, it's uh, Charlie Cole here from Brookgammon Farm. Lovely, lovely Ballantoy Harbour. Lovely weather. Getting absolutely soaked. <sighs> Not that it matters too much because, um. Dara is really keen to get going, although there is somebody who's a little bit nervous about this. And it's Fiona who's uh, decided not to join us. I'm fine. I don't have a mild fear of heights or drowning. I'm scared to cat. <laughs> um. <laughs> Just your good. mic, yeah, with the camera. It's it's fine once you shake it off. Okay. Yeah. Um. Ah! Going off. Back now at the office. I'm picking up a few things, dumping this stuff in the car, and now heading to Belfast. Today's last task is to eat a six course tasting menu in the Bubblers Club. It's a tough job. Poor fella. Like, how do you cope? Do you find that it, it, it takes a toll on you? It does. It keeps me up at night. I, uh, 
I don't know about why you're going to be keeping up at night. I'm going to hit the hay tonight. I'm going to be out like in about five seconds. Huh? I have to admit, I'm feeling slightly sore that <laughs> I'm not getting to stay in it. So me. I have to drive home. Which way? Uh, right. Can't tell if that's just really profound or I'm just <laughs> really tired. Oh, yes, I've had a lot of fun today. Yes, I've just finished eating six courses at a Michelin or a Michelin starred restaurant but it's 11 o'clock I've been on the go for some six that's what 16 17 hours and I got to do it all again tomorrow so according to my watch I burned a total of five and a half thousand calories today swings and roundabouts day two start off at Belfast Castle Cave Hill Country Park and I misread the brief and I'm here half an hour early we're waiting on Emer, who's going to take us on a walking tour of Cave Hill. Well, I'm Emer Flanagan. I own and operate Away We Walk. If you are only driving to the best of the scenery, then you are missing most of it. Today I've got the Sony A7 Mark III and I've got this little Amosa Mini MX mobile phone gimbal. I'm actually shooting a few shots on my iPhone with as well because it's got a really good wide angle lens. Whew. It is warm. Any tips for anyone trying to tackle Cave Hill for the first time? <laughs> Get a good night's sleep. Be prepared to do a bit of sweating. It's family friendly. Our history lesson here from Eva who pointed out. I just want to point this out because this is interesting because I'm up in the moorings a lot. That tiny little square of water is what supplied all of Belfast yeah. before the reservoirs up in the moorings. Yeah. But that was the water supply for the growing town of Belfast yeah. in the 1800s. Yeah, the tourism fight. Tell us about the tattoos. I call my mum Virginia, so made in Virginia. <laughs> a bit of tongue in cheek. My grandfather was a sailor in the Merchant Navy. And everything else means something like Christmas, the natural, you know, the bits of ivy and stuff that we would have grown over here, the acorns in winter, and they all mean something to me. Stopped to get a release form sorted out, and those two just ran off and left me. <laughs> Thanks for waiting on me. <laughs> I was getting a release sorted. <laughs> We can't help it if you're not able to keep up, okay? <laughs> away we walk. You want to go away we walk? Somewhere in Northern Ireland? Give me a shout. Happy Keep days. And yes, Cave Hill is indeed up the hill. Yes, it's <laughs> very, very much up a hill. Bag in Belfast and Square. Yeah, it's nice, nice, isn't it? Isn't it? Next thing on the agenda is lunch, yeah. followed immediately by a food tour. Food or food, yeah. <laughs> food, or food on food. Love this place. It's good to come here after having a meal or you will just spend all of the money you own. Well, we've just been in the institution that is SARS. Not Sawyers, SARS. Amazing. They have absolutely everything. If you want it, it's in there. Looked at some cheese and now we're going to go and look at some flowers. Which is Dara's thing. Yeah. Dara has a fuck. I can't even say it. Watch it. Careful now. A flower farm. Thank you. A flower farm. Always find these two day shoots. Loads of enthusiasm, loads of energy the first day. But once you get to the second day, you're just fading fast by the time it gets to 3 p.m. <laughs> Last major stop of the day, Hillsborough Castle. You'll note I'm on my own. Dara went to the wrong car park. May partly be my fault, but I'm not going to admit that to <laughs> him. That's kind of an alley up there, isn't it? Or is, that, is it Equinox as well, just more open? We're here two minutes and you're speaking Latin already. <laughs> amazing avenue here and I want to get a long shot looking back up towards the house so I sprinted all the way down to the bottom for a three second shot and I have to run all the way back up the hill again It's quarter to six. Quarter to six. Quarter to six. Where does time go we when have, you're having fun? We have to go and eat one more meal though. Just, Just part of the one job. More meal. One more meal one and then we're done. 
I'm absolutely exhausted. Two days finishing filming for Tourism NI with TV personality, journalist, farmer, an all round nice guy, Dara. Did I, did I say that right? And by the way, I'm Dara McCullough. I don't know who that guy was talking about. <laughs> ah, it's been great. And, I mean, it's amazing to think it was just two days because I days. feel like I've been out run the marathon for a week. And we had, we had everything. Like we had the rain, we had the sunshine, we had the heat, we're in the water, we're out of the water. Land, sea, air. If you're watching this and you're in the south, please come up because Dara has been here and he liked it. It's okay, it. honest. It's okay, it's not bad. It's not half bad. Uh, description below, official tourism Northern Ireland Discover NI version of it. Well, that's it. We did pretty much everything during the course of just two days. Walking, hiking, swimming, jumping off cliffs, horse riding, eating, drinking. I did it. It's time for you to embrace a giant spirit.